Well, hello there. I'm Mia Gradney. And I'm Lynn Cannon. Family and friends gathering today to remember Elsa McKeska, the grandmother shot and killed outside a gym last week in Southeast Houston. Anayeli Ruiz joins us live now with the latest. Anayeli. Well, hey guys, right now behind me, uh, family and friends are gathered inside. A rosary just started at six o'clock. You can hear the church bells. Uh, they're gonna be honoring her legacy and all of the memories she left behind and all the people that loved her. She was your right hand. She was your left hand. And if you needed a foot, she will give it to you. She was just a huge support. Betty Otis says not a day goes by where she doesn't miss her friend Elsa McKeska. They met about 13 years ago at the gym. We will go in together. We will walk into the YMCA at four in the morning. During the pandemic, they even made a bike group and would ride more than 15 miles around their neighborhood. This is our area and this is where we will take our break. Now, as she prepares to celebrate her friend's life, she says this will always be her special spot to remember her. She was a great grandmother, a great wife, a great mother, and she was a fantastic friend. And in her heart, she knows this is not their final farewell. I'm not saying goodbye. I'm saying I'll see you later. She will always be in my heart. Well, the three suspects are still on the run. Police tell us they didn't get away with anything. They shot her as she was trying to run inside the gym, just a senseless killing. And that is why family members are asking you if you have any information on the suspects, you're told to contact Crime Stoppers. They are working on increasing the reward and they say it should be well over $20,000. But again, if you have any information, you're told to contact Crime Stoppers. Live in Pearland, Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU. 11 News. Yes, if you know something, hopefully you will say something. Anayeli, thank you.